game at the weekend, 12 o'clock Saturday, kickoff against Rangers. Is it the perfect game to, to start the post split fixtures? Yeah, definitely. I think, I wouldn't say any game's perfect game, but any game's the same, so we're going to go into it with the mindset of taking as many points as we can um, until the end of the season, and we'll start that tomorrow. What have you made of Rangers recently? They've had two big results in the last week in Europe and the Cup, but are you confident you, you can beat them? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, everyone's the same here. We go into the game, no matter who we're playing, with the same mindset, and that's to take all three points. So we'll be looking to do that tomorrow, definitely. I just spoke to the manager, and he said that he's not going to set any targets. He's not setting you know, fourth or, or fifth. Obviously, European football is there. What are you as players saying? Do you believe that you can get European football? Is fourth the aim for you? I'd say the aim is to take each game as it comes um, and to the end of the season try and pick up as many points as possible. I say we wouldn't sit here and say we want to finish here or this is where we're going to finish. I think we want to go into each game and, and take the points and then after all games are finished then we'll see where we end up. Do you believe you can? There's talent in this group of players, isn't there? Yeah, definitely more than capable of, of it. So that just all depends on how we perform and, and how many points we can take. Do you mean taking credit for starting the the fight back to get you into the top six then after the well, well, I wouldn't say personally just me, but you know the team is. You know we took a turnaround and you know it's important we've done it in in good fashion kind of thing to get in the top six. But um, yeah, just delighted to be there. It's a great achievement. What's the atmosphere like in the dressing room office the last couple of weeks? Now that you have got it, because there's a lot of pressure on a lot of teams because mm. it was so tight. Yeah, definitely. I think. I think a, a lot of pressure had been taken off the fact that we got top six. Um, you know, we, we knew we had quite a bit to do to get there, um, and we managed to do that. So I think, yeah, I think everyone's happy to be there, but we know we've got five games left, so we're just concentrating on that for now. Can that help with the next five games? Because you, you look at the teams that you just picked, and they're mm. now, you can see they're in a relegation battle, whereas mm. you guys are not only safe, but into Europe, so can that pressure help? You know, relax you, go into the games. Yeah, I think it's a case of you know the turnaround actually getting results from those games. Um, I think that's that's the main thing. The fact that we was able to to take points and manage to get in the top six. So we just want to carry on momentum really, and as I said, take take as many points as we can uh, and not look back. What have you made of this split situation? Um, yeah. Something you're in favour of it? Uh, yeah, it's the first time, it's first time for me, um, kind of thing, but it's it's a known thing up here, so I'm just, you know, taking it taking it as it comes and, yeah, playing the games, what's what's in front of us. It's kind of unusual, isn't it, that you could have been fighting a relegation battle, but, you know, at one point in your final pre-split game, mm. you could be looking at Europe now. Yeah, definitely, I think it makes a huge difference. Um, and you know, we we are in the top six now, so that's that's the main thing. So that's what we're focused on, is just playing the next five games and and seeing where we can finish. Was that ambition of being a top six club so too when you when you first joined Mull last year? Well, yeah, definitely. I think it's I think it's every club's kind of aim is to finish in the top six, and that was a, a target for us no matter what. I know we had the, the players to do it, and that was a name for us um, but ultimately we just wanted to have a good season and finish as high up the table as, as we could and we've managed to do that so we'll see where we end up at the end of the season. How do you look back on your, your first season year once you've been in and out of the team and we've had both mm. scored a couple of crucial goals as well? Yeah, no, I think I'm, I'm happy with, with how it's gone. Um, I think I settled in quite quickly at the start um, and you know there's, there's great competition in this side so um, I found myself out of the team for a bit but I'm back in now, hopefully, and and playing. So yeah, I've, I've enjoyed my time. How was that period to deal with? Because you obviously had a strong first half of the season mm. to find yourself out of the team for that reason. Yeah, I think that's you know you can you can find that happen uh, to any player um, in any side really. It, it's as I said, we've got great competition here. So well, when the manager chooses a side, you just got to stay patient and and wait for an opportunity. Um, and most importantly, it's it's the team getting the three points that matters.